or I've got the time of going. <laughs> also, uh, apologies in advance. Please forgive me if my voice is a bit loud. I've been teaching all day, and sometimes it's hard to switch off the teacher voice. We'll see how we go. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good, no good evening. I want to leave you with one message tonight. That there is huge disparity in the educational outcomes in Australia, but there is cause for optimism this is a solvable problem. The story starts with my being recruited as a teacher by Teach for Australia in 2009. And you know, the immediate reaction by my friends and family, and even actually, worst of all, my ex-high school teachers was, James, why would you, when you could do anything, become a teacher? And not only that, in one of the most disadvantaged and lowest outcomes high schools in Victoria. Similar story to Deborah. But in many ways, this question is understandable. Because in 2015, only 5% of students with an ATAR of 90 or above went into education. 5%. The teaching profession is not highly regarded by society in Australia and therefore does not attract the best and brightest into it as a company state. So here's my response when people ask me why I became a teacher. Today's students are tomorrow's leaders in society. And we have to ask ourselves, especially in forums like this one, what sort of society do we want and how are we going to get there? And I propose that we want a nation of creative, curious, resilient, self-reliant, lifelong learners who are really, really good problem solvers. And you can see if we had these qualities in our students, we'd be facing a massively bright future as a nation. And we simply cannot instill students with these skills and mindset if our teachers themselves do not have it. Did you know, ladies and gentlemen, that students from the lowest income households are over four times more likely to be below minimum standards in literacy and numeracy? I certainly didn't. And I wouldn't have believed that Australia could allow such a perpetuation of the poverty cycle to exist. Now, I understand that factors at home contribute to a student's academic performance. Of course they do. But if we as a society allow that as an excuse for, those, for that disparity to continue, then it's not good enough. So what can we fix? We can fix school-related factors, and the research tells us that the greatest factor that improves student outcomes in school-related factors is teacher quality. It's quite simple. And the, the countries with the highest PISA assessment results are attracting their teachers from the top 30 to 20% of graduates. And in Finland, the world's best education system, teaching is the highest respected profession. That doesn't happen here in Australia. Teach for Australia, associates and alumni are doing truly amazing things all over Australia today whether they're staying in teaching after their two years are up with the, with the program, whether they're rising into leadership positions within schools, whether they're creating social ventures or impacting policy. And very few of them, and I speak for myself here as well, very few would have entered education if it was not for Teach for Australia. Now, Teach for Australia, of course, is not the only solution to teacher quality and student outcomes, but it's a brilliant one, and I invite you to really look into it a lot more, because it's, it's truly amazing what, what it's doing. And it's based off the highly successful Teach for America program, which is now spread worldwide. Uh, Teach for the Philippines, Teach for India, Teach First in the UK. It's, uh, it's truly a global movement, and we're very lucky to have it here in Australia as well, here in the ACT as well, which is really great. So I invite you to further explore this movement and I'd love to chat about it further and answer your questions afterwards and uh, maybe share with you some of the uh, ideas I have to go beyond uh, impacting within the classroom to uh, really impacting teacher quality and student outcomes on a, on a national scale in all classrooms in Australia. Thank you very much.